now it's one of the best pieces of property in the city. And the reason for that is Stephen Howitt. So thank you very much, guys. <laughs> As much as we might sometimes like to think so, uh, we have an awful lot of partners in getting the city turned around. Government can't do everything. And what these guys did was private investment in this building when no one else wanted to touch this building. These guys put their hard-earned money on the line and put it at risk to take a chance on this project. And every time we get guys like this to take that kind of risk in making an investment in Brockton, the city's a better place. And now we just, in our city planner, Rob May, is here with us, and Rob's been a big supporter of this project. But just in the next block over now, uh, the city is putting out for redevelopment about five parcels that we've got in the next block. And we're looking for one developer to come in with a vision for that block and turn that block around. And the reason I mention that is that project just became a lot more feasible because of what you see here today. Because yeah. this is here, we will now get interest in that property in the next block next door, and a bank will be willing to finance a project at that property next door because of the fact that this is here. And then when we get that block redeveloped, we go another block. And every time, it's easier to get the second investor in than the first one. It's easier to get the third one in than the second. But, you know, someone's got, and I won't use the word I'd like to use, but someone's got to have the guts to be first. And Stephen Howard had the guts to be first. So I, we just can't underestimate what that means to the city and the fact that this building is here now. 